Managing predators is a daily battle for farmers, gamekeepers and landowners. Now the government signals it will recognise this effort and pay shooters for the work. It doesn't say when or how much, but it includes predator control in the latest round of proposed farm subsidies. Totally sensible. The NGO have been pushing for something like this for a long time. It'll be a big benefit, so what's the point of putting a million pound or whatever the things are into creating the habitat, getting all these red list and amber list birds, particularly the waders, and then just let the foxes and crows eat them. We've been doing it for free for a hell of a long time. And that comes through the evidence base as well. You want to find big chunks of ground nesting birds, you go where it's very well keepered. So it would be fantastic to have some sort of compensation coming back into those farm businesses through these agreements to help offset the costs of effective predator management done through the gamekeeping team or whatever. So that would be really helpful. The ray of hope comes from an update in the government's Environmental Land Management Schemes, or ELMS. This is DEFRA's post-Brexit answer to the Common Agricultural Policy Payment System. The schemes, which are due to roll out next year, focus on paying farmers and landowners to enhance the natural environment. As part of ELMS, DEFRA Minister Trudy Harrison reveals what the government is considering. Asked about curlew protection, she admits that the management of predators, such as crows and foxes, plays an important role and she promises actions in elms. It will allow for a larger amount of predator management through a bigger landscape. And that is one of the things we really need to make species be able to thrive. Because if you have a little isolated area where you have predator management, you just get re-recruitment from the outside. So building out these areas where you have effective predator management will be such good news for everybody. We should start to see, or have a good chance of seeing, species start to recover quite quickly. If you create all this habitat, the red list birds and amber list birds will come in and breed, but then you've got to protect them when they're breeding or after they've fledged so that they get a chance of getting a foothold in population again. Shooters can also take heart from positive news announced under the species recovery sections of elms, promising bespoke actions for anyone taking predator control. What it does is, it, in a nutshell, it provides that missing part of the jigsaw. Government has been very good at paying for good habitat management, but without this bit of the jigsaw for some species, it just doesn't work. It is very significant, I think, for government to just address that piece they've been reticent about addressing, which is species management, wildlife management. You know, they have dedicated teams who understand it, but there needs to be the political will to implement it. And so we have that now. We have these sort of hard targets um, for, for 2030, for England anyway, and all the UK has some hard targets through signing up to the Convention on Biological Diversity as well, which has you know, pretty similar sorts of targets. So there now is the political will to make this work. Hopefully we've been appreciated for what we're doing. Keepers have been doing this forever, part of our job, and everything needs to be kept in a balance. You can't have all top apex predators, which all these bunny hoggers want. With a focus on overturning the decline of species, particularly farmland and moorland birds, shooters look like they will get public money to fund predator control. More details on the ELM scheme below.